old environment, there was a very traditional feel. It kind of lent itself to a very traditional approach to educating students. You know, the, the lecture-based, um, large classrooms, desk really standard issue in rows, you know, really couldn't do too much more with the spaces um, as opposed to now, uh, larger spaces, very adaptable. Um, we see a lot more small group, uh, Socratic-based kind of uh, student interactive oriented learning spaces. Um, I would say that the teachers feel that uh, this is a junior college kind of atmosphere, that it should be more about academic discourse, more about student interaction and collaboration. I would say that the, the, the previous facility lent itself to continue doing what we've always done instructionally. The new facility just kind of makes you feel like you got to reach out there beyond what was traditional. As we interviewed several of the faculty and staff at different points throughout the design, one of the things that became apparent was there's a lot of different teaching styles that the faculty might use. And, and one teacher, it might work really well this way for her curriculum and her class and her personality. And yet there's another teacher that has a completely different teaching style. We discussed with the client several academic outcomes that they hope to achieve through the new campus buildings and uh, some of those were increased student uh, attendance and also faculty retention. Um, a lot of faculty retention has to do with whether or not they're able to teach with the technology infrastructure that's needed for the modern day classroom and that was really something that the client pushed was having the ability to plan not only for now but for the future as far as technology and classroom needs. Truancy is way down. Uh, truancy by way of kids skipping classes uh, doesn't happen often anymore. The way that the different textures are used in the school where we've got the interplay of light off of the smooth materials, the glazed brick, the porous block, all of those different um, sizes and scales of materials, it really influences the way um, a person perceives the space. So it was very important that we selected colors and combinations that would um, just invite you into the space. And, and one other thing is there's a lot of natural lighting. There's clear stories and borrowed lights throughout the entire school. There's views from the second floor down to the first floor from the main corridors into the library so that you feel connected with what's going on in the other spaces, but also with nature and with each other. We feel this combination of textures and materials and colors really offers freedom to the student. Uh, we've broken up a lot of the walls so that you don't feel like you're going down a long corridor that goes to nowhere. Um, a lot of the, the walls are, are broken and skewed and, and just bringing in a lot of color and a lot of natural light. Um, it really frees the student to feel like they have the ability to create and the ability to, to do anything they really set their minds to. And that was one of the goals in our educational environment was not to have our students feel as though they were confined to a space for eight hours a day to go to learn, um, but really that they had the freedom to go to learn. They had the freedom to be anything that they wanted to be. And a lot of that was set through the interior design, the way the space is laid out, the materials that are used, the way that these all, things all work together. The community um, absolutely appreciates the efficient um, design and the efficient use of materials, cost effective so much so that there was a significant cost savings that allowed um, us to do so much more with the initial uh, bond than we would have ever imagined. And um, the firm did just an outstanding job of facilitating the process, designing the process, advising the district, and really we just feel like we got a bargain. We got an absolute state-of-the-art facility that's gonna stand the test of time, that's gonna meet our needs going forward for decades to come and we got more than we would have ever imagined.